get response versus ghost only what you really need to understand all right so first of all let me just tell you very quick how this is completely different from all of the other reviews basically vast majority all of the reviews really tell you all of the different features of the softwares but they just give you a list and that's it and at the end you are still confused because you don't really know what actually is the best for your specific needs whereas what i try to do with my reviews is i don't tell you about all of the different features i tell you only specific features that you actually need to know to make a decision and I tell you what tool is best for your specific case because it's always dependent. So I don't waste your time. I tell you only what you really need to know. I put in a lot of work and effort, me and my team trying to figure this stuff out. And also I have discounts and bonuses for all of the different tools that they talk about. So check all of the links. By the way, I created a blueprint for the best business model out there. So check the description. Okay, so we will start out with some marketing features because when it comes to newsletters, marketing is one of the main priorities. So first of all, we have referral program. So this is within your newsletter. You can have a section that you give out something in exchange for a referral. Let's say like people refer three people, you're going to give them something. If they refer 10 people, you're going to give them something. If they refer 100 people, you're going to give them something, whether it's some digital freebie, coaching session, some physical good, whatever it is. There's a lot of cases of newsletter softwares growing crazy using this exact thing. So it can be very, very beneficial. So get response. You need to use a third party software to be able to do this. Ghost, unfortunately, doesn't have this and you can't integrate any other tool. Next, super important marketing feature is the recommendation network. And what this means is basically, let's say someone subscribes to your newsletter and then you have this pop up that shows other newsletters that they might be interested in. So you're kind of exchanging this newsletter subscriber, whatever you want to call it. It can be a very powerful way of growing your list as well because you don't really need to do anything. You just need to find someone to have these recommendations exchanges with. Get response doesn't have this and can't integrate it. Ghost has this within the software. So I will have a link for this whole doc and I will keep on updating it and adding some additional information. And I have discounts for all of these tools and bonuses. So check out the description. By the way, I have made a video comparing all of the best newsletter software. So I will link that below. Next, let's talk monetization. And first of all, sponsored posts so these are called different on different platforms but basically what this means is that within your newsletter you can ask people to subscribe to other newsletters and you actually get paid for that usually somewhere between from as little as one dollar to as much as maybe five dollars if people just subscribe to a different newsletter get response doesn't have this ghost doesn't have this by the way i have created a document of 50 best growth hacks used by the biggest marketers out there check the link below next we have ad network this is again part of monetization strategy and ad network basically just means that the software allows you to find ads automatically being placed on your newsletter so they save you a lot of time do you keep in mind that you will need to pay usually 20 percent fee for that and even if they don't have ad network you can go out and find ads yourself or there are specific tools that allow you to do it and you'll just pay fees for those tools i will leave all of the links for all of the additional tools that i mentioned by the way as well get response doesn't have ad network but you can use other tools ghost doesn't have ad network but you can use other tools the next point for monetization as well is digital products and this is honestly you can make a lot of money through sponsored posts and ad network however if you really want to level up to the next level 
level and make a lot, a lot of money from your newsletter, then digital products is the way to go. This is where you can really make a lot of money. And I have, by the way, a whole channel dedicated on just building a digital product business. So I will leave all of the links, check that out. GetResponse has a functionality to sell digital products and actually they have very advanced tools because you're able to build out different funnels and whatnot. It's almost a mix between email marketing and a funnel software. Now, the next thing is again, monetization and we're talking subscriptions. So technically this is a digital product as well, but I put it separately because this is just one digital product that some softwares allow you, whereas with digital products, there's so many different products that you can be selling. Get response allows you to have paid subscriptions. Ghost allows you to have paid subscriptions. Now, the next step is design. And when it comes to design, this is basically how exactly you can design your actual newsletter. And also when it comes to your opt-in pages, forms, landing pages, all of those kind of things. Get response is a nine out of 10. And I would say nine out of 10 because of the newsletters. But actually, when you look at their landing pages and their pop ups, opt ins, all of that, they have very high functionality, you can create some really amazing designs. And it's way better than all of the other email marketing tools. So I would give 10 out of 10 for that. But when it comes just to the newsletter itself, I will say it's a nine out of 10. Ghost is a nine out of 10. They allow you to create pretty nice newsletters. Now, next thing we got is integrations. And why this is important is basically because if you're using other tools, so for example, let's say you are running a store on Shopify or you're running your website on WordPress, or you just want to use specific tools for your conversions, for running ads, let's say whatever it really is, you will need to have integrations, especially if you want to build a really big business. GetResponse has a ton of different integrations, so it is a nine out of 10. Ghost has surprisingly a fairly good amount of integrations. I will give them an eight out of 10. It is lacking a little bit. Now, the next really important thing is automations, and this is important for basically your conversion. So if you are running a business, you are doing certain offers that you are promoting, whether it's digital products, affiliate, whatever it is, you want to set up certain automations that will just help you to make money on autopilot. I can't emphasize how important that is and how much easier it's going to make your life. Get response has a lot of automation. So it is a nine out of 10. Ghost doesn't have any automation. So it's completely a zero out of 10. Next, we have user experience. And one of the things is the ease of use how easy just how simple it is to use the software when it comes to ease of use with get response, I'm actually Actually quite surprised because it is a very advanced software they have a lot of different functionalities but I will give them a 9 out of 10 because it is still very straightforward even with all of the different stuff they have ghost is okay to use it's a little bit more complicated not such a straightforward platform so I would say it's a 7 out of 10 so when it comes to pricing I will say that with get response, you basically have three different types of pricings. So you have email marketing, you have marketing automations, and you have e commerce marketing. So the main difference here between these plans and actually let me just do 10,000 contacts. So with email marketing for 10,000 contacts, it's only $79 a month. And here you get unlimited newsletters, you have basically all of the basic functionality that you will need. But I would say where it really shines is if you go with the marketing automations plan. And here you it's costing $114 a month, which I would say is somewhere around the average range. But here now you get event event based workflows, you get all of these different 
sales funnels, advanced segmentation. So you get really a lot of tools and especially the part of creating the sales funnels. And if you're really going for selling your offer, then this is really a great value because some of the sales funnels, they're going to cost you this amount a month for 10,000 subscribers. Uh, whereas here you get a bunch of really advanced um, email marketing features as well. And if you want to go for e-commerce, that's going to be $200 a month. And here you get some additional stuff like a ban on card recovery, product codes, product recommendations, paid and on-demand webinars, e-commerce tracking. So as you can see here, you go really, really deep. And this is basically a full out e-commerce marketing software. So you can run a newsletter and also run a full on e-commerce store without having two tools. You can have everything in one package. I think this is some of the best value you will get for your money. When it comes to ghost pricing, honestly, there's not that much of a difference in general between all of these different plans. The only thing is basically how many uh, different newsletters you can run because in general i feel like they don't really have that many features that they're offering and if we go to 10,000 subscribers and actually go to monthly you will see the creator plan costs 124 dollars a month and then the team plan cost 174 and you have the business for 250 and really you don't get that many features for this price tag it's some of the most expensive solution for a newsletter and you're getting some of the fewest functionalities all right so now let's talk overall what is the best use case why you should use certain software based on your specific needs this is probably the most important part when it comes to get response i put it to all of the newsletters because technically it's email marketing software but you can use it for newsletters and specifically well you don't have sponsored posts which is one downside of the way you can make money. However, there are other ways such as selling digital products and running ads and all of that. And especially if you are selling some sort of offer, then it can be a really great tool. And this is why I wanted to include it to a newsletter software because it's basically sort of like a hybrid of a sales funnel builder and it has some very advanced e-commerce features. So you sort of get best of the both worlds instead of having a newsletter software and then building out a separate website to build out a sales funnel, which you can do as well. There's nothing wrong with that because you might get even more advanced, but this is sort of an all in one almost a solution where, okay, you get vast majority of the stuff for email marketing, uh, but you also can get very ad advanced with selling your offer. So that's a great option basically if you have specific offer that you want to sell and you want to get very advanced with how you're going to be selling it. Ghost is an interesting solution. It's a very simple solution. The main focus here is to actually I would say to build a website but I honestly would suggest some different tools if you're looking for that. I think it's better to just build website, let's say on WordPress. And the other thing is it's lacking a lot of monetization options and it's really expensive, especially for what it offers. It's very limited. So honestly, I don't really understand why exactly you would use Ghost. I don't really recommend it as i said the only thing is that you can create a little bit nicer looking website compared to other solutions but it's definitely better just to create a wordpress website 